In an MGB, coolant should just cover the top surface of the inside of the radiator. Too much coolant or too little coolant can cause the car to run hot. If you're leaking coolant, cracked or loose hoses are a common culprit and they can easily be repaired or replaced. To inspect for cylinder head issues, pop off your rad cap, start your car, and allow it to come up to temperature. Once the car is warm, if you see any major bubbles inside of the radiator, it's a pretty good indicator that you have a blown head gasket or a cracked head that's allowing exhaust gases to enter your coolant system. It's also worth checking your oil. A milky appearance indicates a blown head gasket or a cracked head. And this should be fixed ASAP to avoid more serious engine problems. Remove the thermostat housing and inspect the thermostat for rust. In an MGB, there are three simple bolts holding the thermostat housing in place. This thermostat was replaced within the last year or so, so it looks good. I also run a thermostat blanking sleeve which enhances the performance of the cooling system. I'll put a link for this in the description. When putting everything back together, make sure your thermostat goes in the right way up. It's easy to put it in upside down by mistake. It's also important to use a new cork gasket. To perform a cooling system flush, simply drain a small amount of fluid from the system and top up with a bottle of CLR. Drive around for a bit and let the CLR start working its magic. Next, let the car cool down and drain the coolant into a bucket. Now fire the car up, grab your hose, and put it in the rad. Leave the car running with the water draining out of the bottom of the radiator until all of the water is coming out clear. You're now ready to close the valve or reaffix the lower radiator hose and fill the system with fresh 50-50 coolant. bad water pump will cause the cooling system to underperform. There are two ways to determine if your water pump's bad. One, you'll see fluid leaking down from the front of your water pump onto your engine block. Or two, you'll be able to feel looseness when moving the fan blades back and forth. If your car's timing is too retarded, it could cause it to run hot. This is because combustion is no longer contained to the combustion chamber itself, but is instead occurring throughout the entire cylinder head. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. This adds extra heat and also added wear and tear on your valves. 